James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, stay tuned for a review of this beautiful Texas Tempranillo. Bit of a backstory here. I was in Texas, Dallas, Texas, precisely, in uh, February 2014, tasting through some beautiful wines. And it, it was, I wouldn't say accidental, but it was a great, uh, wonderful uh, welcome to Texas. I was going to a restaurant called CBD in downtown Dallas. Uh, great restaurant, I recommend it highly. And on their list are several Texas wines. But I was tasting through Texas Tempranillo, and so I have this wonderful bottle right here. Actually, it was a gift from a friend. and. Um, so I think this is a fantastic way of delving into what Texas is doing. I've been tasting Texas wines for the past, actually probably 10 years. Uh, but in the past two years, I just noted a remarkable shift to great quality wines, great artistically produced wines. And uh, I think that's a great story here. And I think Texas has worked very, very hard. Texas producers have worked very, very hard to really uh, create these beautiful wines. And uh, I think really the story here is uh, to taste through and find that uh, you know, I think a lot of people are expecting Tempranillo from only certain places in the world or in the U.S., for example. I want to expand that envelope further to say that, uh, it, you know, there, there's a great opportunity for many wine varieties in the United States. And uh, there's certain parts of Texas that do quite a great job. Grove, it has been in for grace throughout Texas because it's not possible because of humidity and heat and so forth. But uh, I want to show you a map where this particular producer's located. It's called Pontotoc. It is a northern uh, hill country and that is in Mason County, Texas. On this map here you'll see San Antonio and right over here is Austin and uh, Fredericksburg is where you find a lot of Texas Hill Country wineries. Further north is uh, Pontotoc in Mason County, Texas. So here's a proper introduction to this wine. It's called Pontotoc Mason County, Texas 100% Estate Tempranillo 2012 Vintage Mason, Texas 14.2% ABV. Love this label. So yesteryear, very detailed and uh, something that I just really want to hang on to. It's absolutely gorgeous. Back panel for your inspection here. So it uh, gives some information on, on uh, the producer. Pontotoc, I, it could be a local uh, native tribe, means uh, land of hanging grapes. And uh, so the Money family who owns uh, this winery is in a fifth generation producer. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's all grapes or maybe a variety of other um, agricultural products. So uh, this is a gorgeous uh, wine. I think this for me, tasting through Texas Tempranillo was that aha moment. I'm like, oh, I, I think something really great is happening right now. And to pair with the local cuisines, which I did have in Texas, such as outstanding barbecue and Mexican food, and uh, just a really great sense of food styles that are coming along, especially in Dallas. Um, though I, I need to visit uh, Austin, I've been there in a few years, and uh, I, I think a lot of things are happening. When I was in, in Austin about five years ago, just some great uh, cuisine there as well, in San Antonio, definitely. I haven't been in Houston in a while. So, uh, you know, I don't want to speak out of turn and just uh, put one region in front of the other uh, because I do get comments on that, but I think it's really to give that balance. Uh, it's to give that balancing act of, you know, talking about regions and talking about areas respectfully. And I hope I do, and I want to talk respectfully about regions around the world because it's really important. I want to talk respectfully about Texas wine because I think, uh, again, it's a it's a group of producers that worked very hard uh, to get to this place. So. Uh, red and black plum, a bit of acai, uh, a bit of tamarind on this as well, and spice box. So here we go, take a taste, get some flavor characteristics, and then the points card. Mm. Beautiful flavor characteristics on this one include black plum, black cherry, acai, crushed red candy, bacon fat, chocolate mint, cinnamon, and cardamom, and a hint of rose petal as well. I give this one a 9.1 out of a 10.0 scale. You can think of that as 91 points out of 100 points. It is a really beautiful wine, and uh, you know, I love. First of all, I want to talk about one of the um, flavor characteristics I gave, which is crushed rock candy. I talked about that in terms of Pinot Noir as well, and uh, Gamay, and I think that's a really beautiful descriptor as well as Grenache. It's a really, uh, it's not talking about just you know singularly about sweetness. It's about an essence uh, characteristic that just really comes from that. Uh, Maybe it's a childhood experience of that crushed rock candy that I really enjoy. 
uh, but that's a really great uh, thing in this wine here as well. A great descriptor in addition to all the descriptions I gave. Recommend that you know keep an open mind from all wines around the United States to think about it differently. And that uh, a Texas Tempranillo may be very different from a California Tempranillo, or to uh, say Rioja, or Spain, or Australia, wherever the Tempranillo is being uh, grown. I think it's a great way to think of wine. It's a beautiful homage, and uh, again, a gorgeous producer here. So if you like this video review, please give a like right here. More information on the producer will be listed down below. Please list all your favorite Tempranillos, and if you tasted Texas Tempranillo or the Texas wines, and please give a uh, you know, subscription right here to my video channel on YouTube. I'd appreciate that very much. More video reviews to come from all around the world, and it's really a privilege and a pleasure uh, to taste wines like this uh, from Texas, which I don't get to taste very often. So uh, thank you so much for watching. More to come. Salud.